Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. I'm your host, Pat Sun, and today we're going to be taking a look at r slash surviving infidelity, where OP's wife of 12 years suddenly introduced her boyfriend. Let's begin. My partner of 12 years has introduced her new boyfriend of a couple of months to our three kids. Posted by Reddit user Turnbuckle69. We've been together about 12 years. Our kids are 8, 5, and 2. We've been pretty unhappy for most of it, I can now see I've been controlled by a kind of gaslighting, and it has made me miserable the whole time. This dynamic has never brought out my best, needless to say, and she is resentful of a lot of how I've acted. We've been under a lot of stress all along, she has worked as an ER nurse, and I've been a stay-at-home dad. Two months ago, I had a dream that she was involved with someone, and I woke her up and asked if it was true. She told me she wasn't cheating on me, which I think was true as far as sex. But she admitted an emotional relationship had developed with a coworker. We talked, she broke down and admitted how unhappy she was, how much work she needed to do on herself, and we agreed to finally take time apart. I was initially euphoric, it was incredible to start to realize that I've been doing a great job with our kids, she fully admits this, and that although I'm not perfect, I've done what has been needed. She had always made me feel awful for not bringing in much in the way of extra money or overloading myself the way she does. I'm focused on the kids, which has been a big job in itself. I immediately began reinventing myself, got a job, lost a lot of weight, 16 pounds, and decided to go back to bicycle racing, which I did at a high level when we first met. Old sponsors are giving me a bike and coaching. This all seemed to infuriate her, which was sort of satisfying. I've doubled down on all the housework and dealing with things on her family's property where we live. Most importantly, I've fully committed to doing all I can to make life good for our kids and protect them from stress as a result of this big change. I didn't and don't want to reconcile. I told her I want to sit with a mediator and try to split our assets. I have no money and no car, she owns basically everything. She has said she's open to it but not now. Fast forward about a month. A mutual friend who was letting me stay at their house told her I was going to get a lawyer and sue her for alimony. This wasn't true, I mentioned I was going to try and get free legal help to find out how to deal with this, we aren't married and don't have domestic partnership. This came out during a fight that happened in front of the kids because I stopped by the house unexpectedly, only time I've done this. She threatened to call the cops, stated she felt unsafe, and told me I couldn't come on the property unless it was to deal with the kids. I came by because this is still my home too, and I didn't have food or a bathroom at the camper. I was not threatening. Our kids heard all of this. Fast forward another week, I find out from my kids she's been taking them on outings with her new boyfriend from work. I knew she would sleep with him and not work on her issues, but this I didn't expect. Yesterday the kids told me she's said he will be sleeping over at our place sometimes. She's seemingly committing to making a new life with this guy and burning everything down. Her parents are mortified. I'm so worried about how this will damage the kids and I've told her this when they told me they've been out having fun with her co-worker. She doesn't seem to care and is forging ahead. She needs and wants me to continue caring for the kids but it's not clear how that is going to work. I make $27 an hour at my new job. I usually have the kids 75% of the time. I'm living in a camper my dad bought but all my things are still at our old place. If we were married, I'd be entitled to quite a bit, including one of the cars. Since we are not, I am at her mercy and it seems like she's not going to want to help me with this stuff. I'm in a bad spot and I'm terrified for my kids. I don't know anything about this guy. I didn't really even consider this to be cheating until I found this sub. It all fits now, especially how she tries to make it all seem like my fault when she's the one who initiated a new relationship before we split up. This is the lowest time of my life, but I know I'll be happier when it's past. OP, go get a lawyer, fast. Even though you weren't married, you might be considered common law spouses and may be entitled to alimony and child support. A local lawyer will definitely know the answer. You have a right to your own residence and your personal property. Sure, it's not in your name, but your bill gets delivered there, right? So that's your legal residence. She can't kick you out without a 30-day notice. She can't legally bar you from your own kids, too. Stop fucking around being a depressed spectator. There will be a lot of time to grieve later. 
right now, you need to get your shit together for your kids and get legal advice. Like, right now. Or you can be lazy and watch her fuck you over royally. If you have the kids 75% of the time, you need to immediately file for child support and primary custody. Having that child support will help you afford a place to rent. Plus, it would look really bad that she has now a new boyfriend and is letting him stay in the house. A complete stranger around literal children. Isn't that some sort of child abuse or endangerment if the kids are being forced to interact with a complete stranger without any regard for their safety? Another thing, OP. Just cut off contact with your so-called friends that ratted you out. They're not your friends, dude. They're just letting you stay so that they can squeeze some info out of you for your abusive ex. I'm glad you've finally woken up from the gaslighting and abuse that she put you through. And you finally realized that she was the reason for your unhappiness after all this time. One last thing, OP. Don't forget to record everything whenever you talk to your ex. You can never be too safe. Good luck. And now, for today's second story. Caught my wife sexing her best friend's husband for over a year. Posted by Reddit user Vargar. Okay, ready to drop this rollercoaster of a story and get some opinions. So, I have caught my wife two times before sexting with exes, either wild cuck holding fantasies or dick pics, and lying about meeting up with an ex. She is still in contact with all on social media, I found out. I feel some distance between us the last few weeks and tried to talk about it. Was brushed away as nonsense. I see she's still following dick pic x on Instagram and have a bad feeling. Though I feel terrible about it, I check her WhatsApp on her laptop and found out she is sexting for at least a month with the husband of her best friend, who is six months pregnant with their second child. They were talking about having sex in the shower on our upcoming holiday and made plans last month to fuck in a parking lot. I confront her about it, C denies and says I'm seeing things, I'm overly jealous. I say I have screenshots from the last couple of weeks of their chats and finally she confesses to have sent a couple of naughty texts. I have her call her best friend to confess everything and she's in shock. She admits to having an addiction to get other males attention, stemming from low self-esteem. We have been together for 13 years, married for 7, 2 kids. I have given her everything, have given up most of my social life, as she runs a dance school and is a part-time gymnastic trainer, next to her regular teaching job. She swears it's only texting, and everything is a lie she told him. It's part of a game to edge each other on. She admits to sending pics, but only fully clothed. C normally sees him multiple times a week. She is also in contact with sex to fair partner number one and talking about it with current sex to fair partner to judge him worthy of her attention. She is unwilling to cut him out of her life because she's not giving up her friendship or her gymnastics job, of which this guy is also head of. For the sake of the kids, I give marriage counseling a go, but for the last three weeks, she flips between sort of remorse and blaming me and telling me she's not a lapdog begging for forgiveness. And how I can never be trusted because I checked her laptop. Her best friend, who of course also got cheated on, has forgiven her in two weeks' time, and they are besties again. I've informed her family, and while her parents are angry at her, to also tell me to stop being childish and get over it for the sake of the kids. Tonight, I sat down with her and told her I want a divorce. I have had enough and I'm done. Well, OP, it sounds like you're stuck in a stagnant pool of toxic scum, and you are doing the right thing. It took you a while to finally wake up, you should have divorced the first time you caught her, but hey, at least it's finally happening. First off, don't believe her. Cheaters lie and they are very good at it. She sounds like a serial cheater and a narcissist. Huh, sounds like a Karen in the making. You have absolutely no idea what she has done and with who. But you should have a pretty good sense of who she is now. This woman basically wants an open marriage, but only on her side. She wants to have sex with different men, lots of other men, while you are stuck as a subservient simp paying for her bills. And when you're not cool with it, like, you know, most normal monogamous people would be, the gaslighting begins, am I right? 
In other words, she is the most terrible choice to be married to. She's an unrepentant serial cheater, and her boundaries are so poor that she cheated with her best friend's husband. One thing you should be happy about, OP, at least now you know how she really feels. Once you start the process of divorce, and she's suddenly having this epiphany, suddenly full of remorse, you know damn well that's all an act. As far as your kids are concerned, better to be from a broken home than to live in a toxic one. Just imagine, OP, what would you be teaching your kids? Allowing their spouses to abuse them? Ruining other people's marriages by fucking their husbands? To be brought up in a family where there is constant lying and infidelity? That is not healthier than divorced parents. At least one of you lives honorably. It's not like coming from a divorced home is a rare thing anymore. Look, it's your life, but you can't make a toxic person a good wife. Let's not even mention how toxic her family is. I mean, stop being childish and just get over it? Fuck them, OP. They shouldn't be anywhere near your kids. Finally, get a DNA test for your kids and an STD test for you. Again, you have no fucking idea what that psychopathic bitch had been doing behind your back for the past 13 years. Unlike donating to me, your host Pat Sun, where you know exactly what's happening. Allow me to explain. Viewer support is the best way for me to remain independent and continue bringing you these daily videos, which will always be here on my YouTube channel for you to watch absolutely free. So consider clicking that super thanks just below the video title or you can use my PayPal in the description box down below. Thanks for listening everyone. If you even somewhat enjoyed today's story, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and if you really like it, make sure to subscribe to Patson to never miss a future upload. Stay strong.